everyone, it's Dominique from Lunar Light Tarot. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about what are other people's first impression of you, okay? So I have these three cards for you to choose from. Pile number one is going to be the woman holding a heart card with the rose quartz. Pile two is goddess of the moon card with the clear quartz. And pile three is a woman holding a coin with amethyst. Now, while you choose your pile, I'll let you know that I do have the bonus reading for my subscribers today, my OGs. It's going to be all about what do others see about you that you don't, okay? So if you're new to my channel, I always have an extra reading at the end of all my pick a card readings for my subscribers, my OGs. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. It's not too late to get in on that. Just click that red subscribe button and then you can also watch the OG reading. Alrighty, I hope you have enough time to choose or to go ahead to your timestamp now. Hello, pal one. If you chose woman holding a heart or this rose quartz, this video is for you. Let's go ahead and get into what are other people's first impressions of you. I've already prayed and shuffled over all my cards as per usual. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. All right. What are other people's first impressions of pile number one? Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. What are other people's first impressions of those choosing pile number one? Page of Wands. Okay. What are the people's first impressions of the Knight of Pen Nine of Pentacles? And the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Okay, so the first message that I was kind of picking up on is that you are a little bit of a distraction for people, okay? You, your first impression is that you draw heads and you kind of tend to tempt people, tempt people to talk to you, to get to know you. Um, people definitely want to get to know you better after a first impression. So, all right, let's go ahead and dive into these cards. We have the Knight of Cups to start. So on a first impression, people want to offer you something. They want to tell you about themselves. They want to offer to buy you a drink, maybe if you're in that kind of location. They want to offer up information. It's like they want to almost impress you in some way or give you something that way. It's almost, <laughs> I'm getting this like notice me, notice me type of vibe. And on a first impression, people want you to notice them. I almost feel like people tend to kind of search for your validation on a first impression. I think that you have a vibe where you have this quiet confidence, okay? And we'll definitely get to that in these further cards, but you have this inner confidence that is, reminds me of the saying, still waters run deep. You're someone who's pretty calm on the surface. You could be someone who um, likes to talk or um, you get along with people well, but you don't really have to overexert yourself to be respected in a certain uh, social environment. And people notice that. And so it's not that you're necessarily the leader in a social environment. Maybe you are, um, you know, an unofficial leader, but still people really want to get your validation and your attention. They really want your attention. They want to offer you things to get your attention. So you can see people might overshare with you on a first meeting. They're telling you like a lot about their life story or they're trying to say certain bits of information to impress you. And they're hoping that you're going to get impressed by that. Maybe like what kind of car they drive or what they do for work or if they've met any celebrities, things like that. They're going to bring up things to entice you to be interested in them because they've they found interest in you, okay? Which is really interesting. And then we also have the page of wands here. And this is why I said you come off as a little bit of a distraction for people. I think that on a first impression, people tend to whip their heads around to look at you. Okay, maybe that's not that fast, but they definitely turn around to look at you. I'm also getting some people try not to make it obvious that they're like checking you out. It doesn't have to be in a romantic way. I mean, for some people it definitely is, but I'm getting that people enjoy your outfit. They like your laugh. They like the way that you interact with others. If you talk with your hands a little bit, 
um, or even some, or even some of you who have just like really good posture, people will turn around to look at you and kind of observe you. Some of you have really beautiful or handsome faces and they want to look at you to check out more about your face or maybe your hairstyle, especially your outfit. But yeah, you come across as a little bit of a distraction for people. They could even like talk to, if it's, if it's a situation where you're in a more crowded environment, someone could even turn to their friend and say, oh, did you did you see what that person just walked in and what they're wearing? Like, do you, see, do you see their shoes? Or that person over there is really cute. Don't make it obvious, but definitely look at them. That sort of thing. That's kind of what I'm getting that people, <laughs> that's the first impression they have of you is that you're the person that they kind of like, turned around to look at as you walk into the room. Oh, this reminds me that I actually have a reading called When You Walk in the Room, What Happens? So if you like this one and you end up wanting more information, definitely check that one out as well. Um, this definitely reminds me of that reading. But yeah, uh, this is why I'm getting that you're sort of distracting. People definitely like to look at you. They find you to be like interesting. You kind of send a spark up in them, okay? You spark interest in them. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So also in your first impression, people feel like you're very independent, all right? You come across as someone who is very secure in yourself. You don't have to search for validation elsewhere. Say, for example, you're at a social gathering like a party and you come with one friend and that friend goes to do some mingling somewhere else you are not awkward at all i think this would surprise people you're not awkward when you're left to your own devices or if you have to tell a story you're a very like good storyteller it comes off very natural for you you are not very awkward in social settings I'm getting that for some of you, that's something that you grew out of as well. Like maybe you used to be more awkward, but now it's really, really smooth. People can see that you're a smooth conversationalist. I'm just getting that um, from my intuition. But yeah, you come across as someone who's very secure in yourself. You don't really like rely on other people to feel secure in a social environment you have a lot of inner confidence and that shines through a lot. So that's people's first impression of you. They also might assume that you're doing well for yourself financially, that you're like comfortable financially, um, that you have a nice job or you're going to, you do well in school. If you're in that stage of your life, you know, it all depends on what you're up to, but they feel like your life overall is looking really good like you're just in a good place in your life and that shows because you come across very calm you don't seem stressed in a social environment or when people get their first impression of you you don't seem stressed you feel very like relaxed like everything in your life is going well and then we also have the queen of wands so this tells me more about what people notice about you physically okay so they notice that you again have a really gorgeous face or you know very handsome face you might have some sort of like a little bit of an angular features to you like maybe some higher cheekbones or some of you um some of you have like lip lines that are very pronounced almost like you know how some people's um their mouth line almost looks like a little bit curved or it curves up at the ends. I'm not really so, I'm not really picking up on necessarily the fullness of the lips as much. Some of you guys could have full lips, but it's more like the lip line itself. Your mouth line kind of attracts people. Maybe you have like one that's kind of curved or it curves upwards and people like the way that your lips are curved. I have a random message there, but yeah, definitely interesting. They like the clothes that you wear, but overall here with the Queen of Wands, you come across very hot, okay? This, these, this is like the hottest queen in the deck. So you come across looking hot, you're looking good. You also look like you're someone who has your own sense of style, that you're creative and passionate, okay? You come across as someone who's like very passionate for life. Yeah, definitely creative and like hot, okay? So that's the first impression so far. Let's get some more information with the Tarot Illuminati here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups coming out, the Eight of Cups in reverse. What's the first impression that others have of my pal number one, folks? Oh wow, Queen of Wands again. Yeah, you guys are hot. And then the Princess of Swords. People tend to look at you when you don't really notice them. I feel like when you're in conversation, maybe with somebody else, 
and you're not necessarily noticing them, people are definitely looking at you, whether it be like across the room or you're just like talking to someone close to you and someone else in the group is actually watching you talk, okay? There's something about like watching your lips move. People like doing that um, and they notice that <laughs> they enjoy that. And a first impression, they're like, wait, why am I staring at their lips so much? Do I want to kiss them? No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> or maybe, maybe I'm not. But they definitely enjoy watching you talk. All right, with the Queen of Cups, uh, the first impression is that you come across as someone who's like emotionally stable, okay? Not a lot can really get a reaction out of you. I'm also getting that if you're in an environment where people are drinking, you come across as someone who knows how to handle their alcohol, okay? Like you never really the type to get like sloppily drunk. It just doesn't really happen for you. You're just very put together and yeah, you, even when put in situations where you're maybe ask a probing question, you just know how to handle yourself. Um, you know how to playfully divert from a question if it's not one that you want to answer. And you know, if it if you're an open book, then you just answer in a way that people find to be graceful. But yeah, I'm picking up that people see that you're graceful on a first impression with the eight of cups in reverse people don't want you to leave <laughs> on a first impression they want you to stay longer with whatever this is or they don't want to leave so that they can actually get more time with you they feel like time with you is very fleeting and that they don't get as much information as they wanted from you in that interaction they're like oh i really wanted to know more about this about them and ask them about this but they feel like they never got enough time with you they don't so they don't want you to leave they want you to stay longer again with the queen of wands this is just confirmation that you're just very attractive i'm also picking up that the clothes that you wear people really like your style it's like you have an individualistic style and yeah people just tend to watch you like this is confirmation about what i said earlier where people tend to like look at you as you walk in the room or even tell other people who are nearby like oh wow check that person out yeah, they most definitely watch you. All right, what else are we getting here? These are my white and yellow cards that I made myself. These are so fun. What are people's first impressions of those who chose pile number one? Okay, I'm gonna take this one that came up at the top. I like to get you alone in my bedroom. Yeah, I mean, some people may have like some more sexual thoughts about you on, even on a first meeting. You also have leader, kind hearted and bold. So you come across as a natural leader, all right? And I feel like with the bold uh, element here, you maybe that's something that you wear are bold. You could have like bold jewelry or also just feel like you come across as very boldly authentic as well. Oh, maybe you have gorgeous hair. So people notice your hair is very gorgeous. Yeah, we also have beautiful bare face. So yeah, people feel like you have a great face, even if you're not wearing makeup on a first impression or they could feel that, um, I should call it your skin underneath your makeup is very clear, okay? People notice that you have very clear skin. You also have beard, body hair, facial hair. Now you don't actually have to have these things, but this could be a confirmation about someone who's thinking of you in that way, feels like, you know, if they think of you in the way that we've been describing, they may have a beard or facial hair, or of course you may have a beard or facial hair if you're watching. It all depends. All right, then we have blessing, unexpected, sudden luck, and great news. So on a first impression, okay, I'm getting two messages. One is that people feel like you have a lot of luck and your life is very lucky. I'm hearing lucky girl syndrome. They may feel like you kind of get what you want when it comes to your life. And then the second thing I'm getting here is that the time that they spend meeting you you have a very powerful energy. So sometimes it almost feels like it may be like a faded meeting that you're going to be someone who's important in their life. Even if it is only a fleeting encounter, it doesn't end up being anything. Your energy is very palpable. So people may end up thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm like blessed to meet this person. Or what if this is going to be my soulmate? And it's not like <laughs> it's someone you met on a random Tuesday and it's like, oh no, <laughs> it's not actually going to be anything, but your energy is pretty, um, it's like heavy in the way that it's, it feels important to meet you. So that's really interesting. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? So 
What else came out was uh, cocky, too good for you, self-absorbed. So some people may think that you're cocky on a first meeting. Hey, not everyone's gonna have a good, necessarily a good first impression, but they feel like you're someone who's like, oh, like too good for them, that kind of thing. You're you're up in your own um, bum, <laughs> but not really like, you're not really like that. But some, I think some people do get intimidated by your confidence. We also have religious, dedicated, and then spiritual path. So some people feel like you're very dedicated to what you're doing. Uh, some people may be able to tell that you are either religious or spiritual, and they feel like you're very dedicated to your life path. And you're dedicated to your goals as well. All right, let's move on to the, the Bratz Baddie Oracle. <laughs> um, what are others' first impressions of you? very much 10 of cups vibe oh wow i love this on the card also is the word gratitude so oh well also this one says blessed blessed life so yeah people feel like you have a very blessed life that definitely makes sense or you can't really you can like barely see it even i can barely see it in person but yeah it says blessed life there and gratitude so people would assume that you're very grateful for what you have that you have a really great life you're really put together like i said you have a blessed life they can also assume that you have a really great uh friend group on a first impression they're like wow your whole friend group is like really nice as well what kind of first impression do others have of pile number one okay we're getting unapologetic babe never forgets her roots humble queen cut off game strong the twerks when happy <laughs> enjoys 90s rap blunt and funny very funny okay so yeah so you can be someone who's bold and that you say what you're what's on your mind and you're unapologetic about that i definitely getting that you are humble like you really don't have to do much like i said oh wow you have the empress wow that's that brats hollywood here i love this hollywood style so you come across almost like a little bit of a celebrity with your style. And you know that one interview that Lady Gaga gave where she said that she was a celebrity before she was known because people wanted to know about her and she had she just had that vibe that people wanted to watch her and learn more about her. That's the kind of vibe that you guys have as well. And that's what I mean by a celebrity. You don't have to be well known to have that sort of energy, right? Where people are very curious about you and they wanna learn more about you and you just pique people's interest. So that's what I'm getting here, that you really pique people's interest. You kinda of are the full package. And you kind of seem a little Hollywood for people. Like, I don't know, not, the, not in a snobby way. I'm, I'm kind of picking up on like Blake Lively where she comes across as very like humble and down to earth. But again, she's a superstar. Like she's, she's very famous. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. What are others first impression of you? All right, we also have um, talk to your spirit guides more. You're never alone. Some of you may have pets. So this person here is like hugging their cat. So some of you may have pets and that they could know that on a first impression, like you may talk about your pets, but I'm also getting that um, you have a spiritual vibe to you. Like people could kind of know that you are either like spiritual or religious. Maybe just by some of the jewelry that you wear or the way that you dress. I've definitely been out places and like not talked about my spirituality at all. And then people were like, yeah, I could tell that you're one of those crystal people. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> How would you know that? They're like, oh, just your jewelry in your like presence. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it could be that simple. All right, last one here. What's the first impression they give off? Thank you. Oh, we have temperance. And oh, look at this with the halo. Okay, you guys give off an angelic vibe, angelic ethereal vibes. Again, you're very balanced in your emotions as well. You come across like sweet, down to earth for sure. Just like, yeah, you're just a really nice personality. People like you. It was not to like, what's not to like? Um, we're gonna wrap it up now with my multicolor cards. If you guys like this reading, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome, it really helps to support my channel. And if you like my other videos, if you watch a few, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, become an OG today. So you can watch the OG reading. It's gonna be all about what do others see about you that you don't. So if you wanna know, that's later on in the video, the last timestamp only for my OGs, my subscribers. All right, what are others first impressions of pile number one? You're leveling up so fast. Yes, oh my gosh, yeah, you level up really fast. That is interesting, I like that. 
you're so fine. When you walk in the room, they can't stop staring. Oh, guys, come on, this is confirmation that people look at you when you walk in the room. They turn their heads to look at you. You're that temptation. Wow, full package coming out here. Guys, I have no, I'm just pulling them randomly. This is too good. All right, I think I'll miss you forever. That is so interesting. I'm just picking up that even when people have a short impression with you, you really stay on people's minds. All right, some of you may have a larger chest. I'm just taking the ones that flipped over. So you may have a large chest. And then this one says, you make me so turned on and filled with lust for only you. Okay, so some people do get like fantasies. <laughs> they may be feeling you in that way after they meet you. What else do we have here? All right, no matter how I try, I can't get over you. No one compares. Whoa, that's kind of intense. So yeah, your first impression is that people may compare the intense energy they get from meeting you with other people and they just feel like they connect with you on a first impression. That's not for everybody you meet, but that's definitely for some people, you know? Some people that you meet feel that way about you. And they also have, you're a great friend. People love being around you. Oh, that is just so sweet. Yes, exactly. People love being around you. You got that nice vibe. Yeah, definitely the woman holding a heart vibe, totally. Alrighty, that is what I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what resonated with you. I'd love to read all your guys' comments. Be sure to subscribe if you've made it this far. You already know you want to. And I post new videos every Wednesday. Additionally, I have a TikTok and I have a website where you could book a personal reading with me, literallytarot.com. The link is in the description down below if you want to book with me. I love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Have a wonderful day, night, or evening, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello there, pal number two. If you chose this goddess of the moon card or the clear quartz crystal, this pile is for you. Let's go ahead and get into what are others' first impressions of you. I've already prayed and shuffled over all of the cards. We are connected to the divine and we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. What are other people's first impressions of those who chose pile number two, divine source? What are other people's first impressions of those who chose pile number two? Oh, okay. So you have the nine of wands. What are other people's first impressions of those choosing pile number two? The ace of cups. What are other people's first impressions of those choosing pile number two? Ace of pentacles. And then the five of wands. Oh, <laughs> very interesting combo here. Um, and I like it. I, I do like it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and, and start. So first thing is that people, they have mixed impressions of you, okay? Uh, I feel that like you're someone who gets sometimes misunderstood on a first meeting. It's almost like people get to see the real you over time. Um, but still they could kind of get confused about you. And I'm going to explain that. Okay. So, um, the first thing that they feel is that you come across as someone who's a little bit on guard. Okay. You're, you don't open up right away to everybody. And if someone were to try to press with you too quickly, I don't think that would go very well for them. On a first impression, like when people first meet you, like they're first saying like, Hey, hello, how are you? First, like 10 minutes of conversation, you come off as someone who's a little bit standoffish or you're not telling every everything about yourself. You know, some people on a first impression, like they, they kind of do a little bit too much. They're oversharing or things like that. That is not you. Okay. Um, you guard your personal information, which is, you know, totally fine. And you kind of guard your energy until you can see what someone is like. It's like, they can tell that you're scoping them out in the beginning. Okay. And you don't really show a lot of your personality in the first few minutes of an interaction. It's like, you take a little bit to like warm up to people, which is totally fine. Because right here in the middle, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So after they've kind of warmed you up a little bit, they've gotten to know you a bit and you've established that they're not a threat <laughs> or that they're, they're someone that you'd want to talk to, people get this feeling from you as if, oh, wow, I could really see myself getting to know this person or having a deeper connection with them, or I feel something almost like beginning with them, okay? Because both of these cards represent new beginnings. They feel 
a wave of emotion and they got kind of excited over the idea of getting to know you further, okay? And when I say emotion, it doesn't always have to be necessarily romantic, but what I'm getting here, especially when you connect with people for the first time, it's like they feel like they broke down one of your walls and it makes them really excited. When they start seeing those glimpses of your personality or they recognize that your shoulders have relaxed or you, know, you just seem more comfortable around them and you're, you know, you're speaking more in the conversation or you're sharing a bit more about themselves, they feel accomplished, okay? That's their first impression of you. They feel accomplished when they get to know you more. They also feel like there's a lot under the surface when it comes to you, okay? There's a lot to be found. They feel like you have a really big heart um, that you love really deeply. To them, other people, on a first impression, it makes sense why you would come across a little bit on guard at first because they feel like you have a lot to protect all right uh, on a first impression you come across someone who's highly valuable highly valuable and that's the reason why you need to protect your heart okay i think that when people get to this stage with you they feel like oh wow this is someone who i want to guard this is someone who i want to you know, take care of and protect because this person is highly precious. So you can have people who, you know, they meet you and they, you know, they get to know you a little bit and they immediately want to be friends. You know, they want to invite you out again. They want to ask you on a date. They want to follow up with you. Um, and it's because they feel like they got to see a side of you that not many people do. Now, no, they don't know that <laughs> this is just how you are. And this is just kind of the impression that a lot of people get from you. But a lot of people feel like they're accessing like a different layer of you than the people do. When really, I feel like you go through this process with a lot of people, like you're just a little bit on edge with, with new people. Not that you're uncomfortable per se, but again, you just don't give a lot of information about yourself. You're just kind of used to easing into conversational people instead of being overly friendly at, in the first like 10 minutes of conversation. You just kind of like warm up to people. I'm also getting this impression where some people could kind of feel like you're a little bit mean on a first impression, like again, like the first 10 minutes, they feel like you're a little bit disinterested or you're, you might actually be mean. Some people might even say to you like, oh, I thought you were gonna be mean. But then again, after like 10, 15 minutes, you're really engaged in the conversation. You're asking questions about the other person. And now it's like, oh my God, I, I cracked this person, this person's walls down. Like we're talking now, we're becoming friends and they get really excited because they feel like you're not like this with everybody. But again, that's just how you are. You just get to, you get, you like more to people slowly. So that's interesting. Um, I'm also seeing that it doesn't really last so long though. <laughs> because <laughs> you have the five of wands i think that after your first impression after you guys you know uh say goodbye and the meeting is over people get confused <laughs> as to how you really feel about them with the five of wands okay people do get confused about how you really feel about them they're like um okay so like are we gonna be friends now are we gonna be more are we gonna meet up again or like it was that just like a fleeting first meeting people get confused about where they stand with you and what you think about them, which is really, really interesting. So, all right, let's go ahead to the second row. Let's use the Tarot Illuminati for that. What are other people's first impressions of those who chose Goddess of the Moon? Oh, we have the sun. I'm not surprised. That was actually at the bottom of the deck as we were starting. What are other people's first impressions of those who chose the Goddess of the Moon? We have the death card. What are other people's first impressions? of those who chose the goddess of the moon. We have the devil. Whoa, all major arcana here. <laughs> and then what else? The two of cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my, y'all leave a very memorable first impression. And it makes people kind of nervous to see you again. They really wanna know where they stand with you. I, mean, I keep getting that energy, but anyway. All right, so we have the sun here. On a first impression, people, once they get to know you a little bit, they start feeling this warmth and energy from you. You can make someone feel like they are your best friend within like an hour of having conversation with them. They feel connected to you. They feel close. They feel the warmth of being around you, okay? 
being close to you can be like flying a little bit too close to the sun. <laughs> um, it feels very warm. It feels very, you know, hot and it's beautiful. Um, but at the same time, again, people sometimes feel like they don't exactly know what they're going to get with you after a first impression. That's really coming up strongly. It's funny because pile number one did not get so much of an after effect, but you guys have a lasting effect on people after they first meet you. So after the meeting is over, first of all, they don't really want the meeting to end with the death card. They don't really want the meeting to end because they feel like they just got somewhere with you. We just made progress. We just became friends. We just, she just got interested in me or he just became interested in me. I don't want this meeting to end. I'm not forgetting that. After the first impression, people feel hooked on you. They want to know what you think about them, if you like them, if you want to hang out with them again, whether it's platonic or it's romantic, people are very, very curious about how you feel about them after a first meeting. You're the kind of person that people would watch tarot readings about to be, <laughs> to be like, what's going on in this relationship? What do they feel and think towards me? You are that kind of person, okay? That's definitely what I'm getting. Um, <laughs> You have this quality that makes other people think about you and become a little bit, um, I don't want to say obsessed necessarily, but they're a little overly curious about where they stand with you and how you feel about them. They're a little overly curious about that. That's probably the biggest message that I'm getting here. They just feel like when they connect with you, they, just, they want that again. They feel accomplished. <laughs> when they connect with you. I feel like you have a vibe that can be a little addicting for people. And once they kind of catch a glance of who you are and your personality, they really, really want more of your energy. Your energy can be highly addictive is what I'm seeing. And they just don't want things to end. They want to keep getting to know you. All right, so now let's look at my white and yellow cards. As I was shuffling in your energy, the spiritual guru card came up. So I will take that one. We have spiritual guru, high priestess, and living divine path. So people could feel like you are someone who is spiritual as well. They could feel that intense energy kind of coming off of you. Um, and again, with the high priestess, you're someone who is mysterious. <laughs> you're definitely mysterious. People, people just want to know more and more about you. All right. All right. First impression. We have the responsibilities of this relationship are not appealing to me right now. LOL. So <laughs> basically here, people feel like they kind of get to know you and then you kind of just like poof not that you're necessarily a ghoster i do feel like you fall off the people that you want to build a connection with um but they feel like it must take a lot for you to want to continue connection maybe you meet a lot of people maybe like on a night out or things like that or like mutual friends but you don't tend to follow through with everybody and the people you don't follow through with they're like oh what happened like i thought we had something so that is interesting even if um i'm also picking up that you're the kind of person who doesn't text people every day i mean who does that really unless you're in a relationship but um yeah that you don't text people every day and people can kind of feel like your energy is very fleeting. It's very fleeting. You slip through people's fingers all the time. So yeah, that's, that's very interesting. It's like hard to hold your attention. All right. First impression is that you're very successful, that you are financially free in some way, or that you're doing very well for yourself. People feel like you have a lot of genuine happiness. You're genuinely happy. We also have this person wants to take things to the next level. So the first impression about you is that you're taking your life to the next level that you're improving your life a lot. Maybe that even you're starting something because we have this ace. Maybe you talk about a project that you're starting or that you're starting a new job. They could be one of the things that makes people feel like they're connected to you. And then again, they're like, I want to hear about how that project is going, that kind of thing. All right, on a first impression, you develop haters, okay? So you, <laughs> on a first impression, some people feel, um, some people feel threatened, I won't even lie because of the intense reaction that the people get from you, okay? Which is really interesting. Um, some people could even end up being haters after meeting you because it's like they thought they had something with you and then maybe you don't really feel the same way and they kind of get bitter about that. Some people may get bitter about that, but yeah, we have hater wishes they could be you and obsess. And tell, oh my God, this telling you people do get obsessed with you after a first meeting, whether it be like more positive or more negative. 
you just have people really in their heads about you. Oh, we also have, I'm committed to making this work. So yeah, a lot of this is after, after the first impression, they, they want to make things work with you. They want to talk with you more. Okay. What is the first impression other people get from pile number two? What is the first impression? We have intelligent, impressive diamond. Yeah. Wow. People are very impressed with you. They feel like you're very intelligent. You also have beautiful eyes. So yeah, people like your eyes and may actually get lost in your eyes as well. What is the first impression other people get for my pile number two folks? Wow. Wow. The person in red card, it says alluring to all natural sex appeal. I'm like, should I say that? Oh, well, magnetic aura and generous. Yeah. You have a very magnetic aura. That is crazy. Alluring to all guys, alluring to all. That is amazing. And this one says, are you thinking about me? I need to know that you still care. Come on with the conver with the confirmation. I'm telling you, people get so invested in knowing if you like them or not. They are they're very confused. <laughs> people tend to get confused about whether you like them or not after a first impression. They they find themselves really thinking about you and wondering like, okay, do they like me or not? Do they want to be my friend or not? Where do we stand in this connection? And I just feel like you are going about your own business. And you're not even thinking about some of these connections. You're thinking that you're good with these people. But meanwhile, they're like, okay, where do I stand with pal number two? Like, <laughs> it's because they felt like they got somewhere with you. They felt like they had made a connection. But I think you just easily connect with other people. So yeah, very interesting. Um, let's go ahead now and check out my Bratz Baddie Oracle deck. This is not I didn't make this deck, but I'm just saying the deck that I own. <laughs> I was like, let me clarify really quick. Um, but yeah, let's see. What first impression does pile number two leave on others? Okay, we have spiritual babe. Talks to her guys regularly. Ancestor's favorite, starseed, moon manifester. Owns crystals, natural psychic, and nature freak. This is very interesting because we had the spiritual guru card, right? Spiritual babe. Um which also says high priestess and it also had the goddess of the moon. And this one says, um, moon manifester. So yeah, you definitely give off a spiritual vibe to people. And I feel like it's more of like, um, I don't know, a little bit of a relaxed in tune kind of vibe. People feel like you're very in tune. I'm also hearing the words eyes at half mast. Some of you guys may have like bedroom eyes or like eyes that make you look kind of sleepy or maybe you do your makeup in a way where your eyes look very sultry. I'm also picking up on that. People may also feel like you see right through them. And of course you could, you know, do things like own crystals and you know, you could perform your own tarot reading, blah, blah. But people feel like you have a spiritual vibe to you. Okay, first impression, the sun. Wow, so we have the sun twice. Again, you have that very warm energy. Oh, additionally, this one is from um, Bratz Fashion for Passion Diamonds. Okay, I don't know what that means. I guess it's the, the Diamonds movie, I'm guessing. Um, but anyway, it's very funny because we had Intelligent, Impressive, and Diamond. So again, you come across as someone who has very little flaws. I know, I know it's kind of dramatic guys, but with the diamond analogy, it's like you're almost flawless like a diamond. You don't really come across as someone who has many flaws on a first impression. I'm particularly picking up on like your outfits, um, the way that you speak, the way that you interact with people. Again, like just because you're on guard, people doesn't necessarily mean that's a flaw. Like you're just being protective because people can see that you're highly precious. Just like that diamond again, like once they get to know you, they're a little bit, they're like, whoa, this person is, this person is highly valuable. They're highly precious, like a diamond. And your energy is just so warm. Like, wow, people want to get to know you more. What are other people's first impressions of pile number two? What are their first impressions of them? Okay, we have um, baddie, babe. Okay, all right, y'all are baddies. We have master manifester, talks to her guides frequently, so twice on that. Sees right through people. Oh my God, we just said that. So yes, totally, you see right through people. Small friend group, very low key, self-employed, gets misunderstood. Oh, yo, spirit is speaking right now <laughs> you definitely get misunderstood you do that is so interesting 
you see right through people, you get misunderstood in the first meeting, um, especially because people may think that you're kind of like mean or standoffish. And then they're like, wait, no, that's not the case at all. They're actually super nice. They're just getting to know me a little bit. But yeah, you see right through people for sure. Your style is like really cool out of this world for a lot of you. All right, your guides are helping you through this. Oh, wow. So this is the third time that spirit guides have been mentioned. So on a first impression, people feel, hey, hey, this is gonna sound a little woo-woo for a second, just stick with me. They almost feel the energy of your guides around you. They attribute it to your vibe. So they just feel like you have a spiritual vibe. They feel like you have a very intense, um, powerful energy and it's because they can feel the energy of your spirit guides around you they feel like you're protected all right um which is really really interesting um people can almost feel like you're living this divine path like you're living in accordance to your life purpose it seems like you know what your life purpose is okay which is why you come off as very successful and genuinely happy as well is because you're working with your guides people wouldn't say like Oh, I can, feel this, I can feel this person's spirit, guys. No, they would say that this person seems really genuinely happy. They feel like they're living their life purpose right now. Um, they feel like they're on a path that really works for them. That kind of thing. But it's really because they can feel that your guides are around you and that they are helping you. Whoa, that's very intense. You guys have, you guys have pretty intense energy. What other people's first impressions of pile number two? What are others' first impressions of pile number two? This is going to be the last card. What is it, Divine Source? Thank you. All right, let's see. Then we have Surrender to the Divine. On this card says the best friends and also girl power. So I feel like this is pointing out um, your friends. If you're with any of your friends at the time of first impression, this tells me that other people feel like you have a strong bond with those who are around you, okay? Um, either that or you can make strong bonds very quickly. This one also says dream team. So they feel like you get along with your friends very well. Some of you may be part of the LGBTQ plus community or your friends are because I'm seeing the different flags here as well. So yeah, that can be a part of your first impression. People may feel like you're part of that community, even if you're not sometimes, or they, they hope that you are because it may be attracted to you in that way. Someone of um, the same gender or sex can be attracted to you and they hope that you're a part of that community off of first impression. But yeah, that's mostly what I'm getting is that you have a good group of friends. Alrighty, so guys, if you like this reading so far, definitely be sure to give the reading a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. It does help out my channel. And uh, okay, we're gonna wrap things up with my multicolored cards. And that's gonna be it, all right? So Leah, what else do we have for your first impression? What first impression do you leave on others? Pile number two. I can't get over you. This connection still haunts me. Bye. Oh my goodness. They just cannot stop thinking about you at their first impression. Not that, not that they become like, I don't know, <laughs> overly obsessive. I just want to say that people definitely wonder how you feel about them to an extent, like too much after a first impression, which is really interesting. Okay. What else do we have here? Ah, oh my goodness. I've been using substances to forget about you. That's intense. Oh my Lord. What's the first impression that other pal number two gives other people? First impression. All right. Sexy smile. Yeah, they feel like you have a very sexy smile. A piercing gaze coming out here. You're doing amazingly. Give yourself more credit. So yeah, people feel like you're doing really well in your life. You're making great progress. I want you all to myself. Ooh. <laughs> After first impression, whether friends wise or you know, other are romantic. They want you all to themselves. You made me look good. Ooh, interesting. So people feel like your friendship or your romantic relationship to them would elevate them in some sense socially. All right, they have that after first impression and they also have lovely hair. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you'd like more information, um, guys, check out my OG reading. It's gonna be for my subscribers and the topic is what do others see about you that you don't notice? So if you wanna know more about yourself in that pile, that's gonna be the last timestamp. All you have to do is be subscribed to watch that reading because it's for my subscribers, my OGs, and it's gonna be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. 
All right, if you do want even more from me, I have a TikTok under the same handle, Lunar Light Tarot, and I have a website, lunarlighttarot.com, where you can book a personal reading with me, and I would love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose Woman Holding a Coin or the Amethyst Crystal, this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get into what are others' first impression of you. I've already prayed and shuffled over my card, so we are ready to begin, okay? So, yeah, let's go ahead and start. All right, Divine Source, what are other people's first impression of those choosing pile number three? All right, we have the Page of Pentacles. What are the people's first impression of those choosing pile number three? We have the tower. What are the people's first impressions? Oh, okay. King of Pentacles. Nice. And the high priestess. Wow. Wow. You guys make quite the first impression here. This is really interesting. Um, this is giving me the idea that people think that they know you and that gets torn down very quickly and built up in an even higher light, a higher image, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and start with this page of Pentacles. So um, the first meeting, maybe like the first 10, 15 minutes of you talking to somebody new, they think that you're kind of still starting out on whatever you're doing or that you're still trying to get to where you're you know, where you want to go, but they don't have any disrespect towards you. They don't look down towards you at all. They're just like, oh yeah, this person is like building up right now. Um, they're doing well in their life. They are kind of just starting out in their field. They're thinking like, oh yeah, they're just, you know, they're just starting out on their job or they're just starting out on this project. Or if you kind of mention, briefly mention um, things that you have going on in your life, but you don't necessarily talk about the accomplishments that you have, or even just like your vibe, you know, they kind of feel like, oh, this is somebody who's, they're doing well for themselves, but they're not like, you know, top of their game or anything. They're just kind of living life and they're doing their thing. And nothing wrong with that. But very soon after they kind of form their initial opinion about you, this could even be before you even open your mouth. They assume things about your financial status. They assume things about your self-confidence. They assume things about um, like where you're going in life and they kind of think that you're just starting out or, you know, you're not where you want to be yet. They don't look down on you, but they're like, eh, you know, nothing, nothing too, nothing too crazy going on. But then as they get to know you, maybe like this is I'm hearing this is 30, 40 minutes into like a hangout or something. Boom. We have the tower here. They realize, oh, <laughs> This person is not just starting out. They're actually very accomplished, okay? From the Page of Pentacles all the way over to the King of Pentacles. That's why I kind of like <laughs> laughed when this card came out because they think that you were paid. They, they thought that you were just starting out. They thought that you were, you know, just getting your feet wet in whatever you're doing. Um, but they turns out that you're very solid, okay? You're very solid. You're established in your field. Um, but for a lot of you, you're highly intelligent. Some of, you, some of them may realize that you have a lot more money than you were letting on in the beginning of a conversation. They realize that you're um, in a position of authority at your job. Um, they realize that the business that you were talking about is not just starting out like you've been doing this it's been making money okay taxable income i heard for some of you guys or you know whatever it is it's just like oh wow this person is actually kind of large and in charge okay and once you hear for some of you it could just be personality wise okay at first they kind of take you for somebody who is a little bit more naive or who's just like you know, the goofy, funny one, but not really to be taken seriously. And then you say something that is so wise and profound. People come to you for advice right in front of them. And they're just like, hmm, you're going to that person for advice? Like, why did you go to them? And then they quickly find out that, of course, you're, you're, you're looked up to and for good reason. So yeah, we also have the high priestess here. So towards the end of the first impression, you come across as someone who's very wise, very put together, very knowledgeable, intelligent. You know how to get things done. You know how to get to information. Also, they see that you're not someone who's overly flashy, you know? 
you don't need to proclaim that this is who you are. People find out over time, okay? They just find out. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting. So yeah, people kind of feel like they know you or they know what you might be like. And then very quickly, they find out that you are even more than they had ever thought that you were. You're doing more than ever thought that you were. Um, we also have the magician here at the bottom of the deck. Definitely can't ignore that. So I feel that with this card, you come across with a very powerful presence, okay? When you see someone who's a magician in real life, you don't you don't necessarily say, oh, wow, the person's a great manifester. No, you would say things like, wow, well, the person has a very powerful presence. Um, they're very charismatic. They're charming. They're very intelligent. They they have a lot of different aspects that make them who they are. Um, and they can you know work a room well. They they know how to they know how to work with energy. That's what it comes down to. So that is a sort of impression that you leave on others is that you know how to work with energy, you know how to work a room, um, you don't have to do too much, like it just becomes obvious over time who you are, okay? Um, yeah, you don't have to proclaim it at all. You have that silent confidence because your authority, you're not, you have natural authority, it just speaks for itself. You don't even try to be a leader, you just are. <laughs> you just are, okay? You're just in that position. All right, let's go ahead and clarify with uh, the Tarot Illuminati here. All right, what are the people's first impressions of you? What are the people's first impressions of those who are choosing pile number three? All right, we have the King of Wands, the Seven of Cups. <laughs> this is funny. The Hanged Man. Mm -hmm. Their first impression. And the queen of wands. Wow. You guys turn people on with this realization as well too. Okay. So the king of wands, people realize pretty quickly that you're someone who goes after what they want in life. You guys are a go-getter. You make things happen. You're very passionate about your life and you are large and in charge in your own life. Okay, I'm going to get a little woo-woo for a second, but I feel that you guys have a very powerful, big presence. I feel that in the spiritual realm, you know, in the 5D or whatever, you guys would have a very big aura, you know, a very big energetic body. Like your energetic body would take up a whole room. It would be very, very tall and, you know, just like giant, like a giant, you know? So you have a very intense aura because it spreads very far out, you know? That's what I'm picking up on. Um, and people can feel that about you. At first, like they sort of look at you and they take you in and they don't think there's much going on. But then again, like very soon, that idea of you crumbles and it's replaced with more of a total look at who you are, right? And then we have the seven of cups. I feel that this sort of like whiplash effect, it kind of confuses people. They don't even know why they thought of you that way at first. You know, they, they almost get confused like, oh wow, like <laughs> they almost feel like they're in a fog when their idea of you is being changed as they're getting to know you, as they're you know, going through this first impression. Again, at first, within the first like 30 minutes, they think that they know you, that they have your character pegged. And then as it's changing, they're like, wait, I don't know this person at all. Like what is happening here? Why do people refer to them in this way? And why do they say like the leader of the group? And what is going on in this dynamic? Who are they in this dynamic? And then it becomes clear to them, boom, with the hanged man. They start to see you in a whole new way. <laughs> As their perspective is being changed about you, it's almost confusing. They're like, oh, whoa, like I didn't expect them to have, you know, this many years of experience in the field or, you know, to be in this position at their job or to be this stable or have this nice of a home or, you know, whatever it is that people are very impressed by when it comes to you. It almost confuses them when they realize that they're projection of you is not who you are at all and you're much honestly better off than what they thought that you would have some of you guys could be a member of like marginalized groups or minority groups and people may feel like oh no this person doesn't have that not that, not that they're necessarily being you know one of the isms <laughs> not that they're you know not that they're trying to be one of the isms or is the is you know what i mean ist 
you know, you could, you could you could put a lot of things in front of that. Um, not that I'm afraid to say them. Just there's just so many. Um, they're not trying to be like that. They just have some maybe unconscious biases mm, <laughs> that they don't realize that they're projecting onto you. You know, like oh, someone in this socioeconomic class could never have this. Someone of this, you know, uh, skin tone <laughs> could never have this or whatever. But it's just not. <laughs> it's not what it is. So yeah, some of their biases end up being called out. Uh, which is really, really interesting for them, or at least in their own head, they end up being called out, all right? And their perspective of you changes really quickly to get adjusted to this king of pentacles, king of wands, large and in charge, go-getter image that you really are, okay? Uh, it was like the queen of wands here. Once this shift is made in their mind, all of a sudden you're like, it's like, damn. <laughs> they find you to be very, very attractive. They feel like you're hot they see you in a whole different light because they underestimated you all right they underestimated you and you didn't even have to prove them wrong in a direct way it was just so subtle the way that you changed their mind about you so yeah you have people changing their minds about you in a first impression um let's go ahead now and check my white nail cards look this one just flipped over i'm taking this i'm taking it we have boss Becoming rich and generous. So yeah, you'll come up as a boss after the first impression. Okay, that's what they think about you. Like, oh wow, pile number three is actually a boss. That totally makes sense. They also have hot and cold. All right, so you come up a little hot and cold to people. I don't, I don't really get that you play mind games with them, but I do feel like people feel like <sighs> in their head, <laughs> they almost play mind games with themselves because of that confusion that they go through where they think of you one way, but you're actually another, all right? I also feel like you can come off a little hot and cold to people, especially when you realize that they did underestimate you and all of a sudden they're hot on you. I feel that people can have a hot and cold reaction to you, like at first they're kind of cold um, because they think that you're in a certain place. And then once they realize more about you, all of a sudden they're hot on you and that's when you become cold because you're like, wait, you didn't see it from the beginning? So that could be a thing. Um, okay, interesting. You could attract some like um, F boys or players as well who don't see your value and then all of a sudden they do. All right, then we have, I want a committed relationship. On the back it says soulmate, heart to heart connection, tenderness and understanding. So on a first impression, other people can tell that you are serious about your relationships. You want probably more committed connection. Um, they would assume that you want to be in a relationship that you wouldn't really settle for a situationship or they feel like you're in a relationship that's really working for you okay what else do you have here what is the what are the people's first impressions about those who chose pile number three what are the people's first impressions about those who chose pile number three all right we have amazing in bed experience generous lover oh lol so people may assume that you're amazing in bed after a first impression, okay, they think that you would be really good. That is quite interesting. You also have a want to make you moan. Okay, so you have some people who are, again, they get hot on you after, you know, maybe like an hour or two of hanging out with you. We also have the vibes are immaculate, trustworthy connections. Yeah, they feel like your vibes are very immaculate. You're someone who's very trustworthy. You're a whole vibe. Okay, what else do we have here? I appreciate everything that you do for me. Oh, that's nice. I'm hearing that you could do things for your friends that other people notice during a first impression. Like say you go out with your friends and you, you know, you get them a drink or you make, you make sure to hold their drink if they go to the bathroom or you get people compliments, right? They feel like you're someone who is not trying to compete with other people, all right? That's what I'm getting here. You don't need to put anybody down to make yourself look better. And people appreciate that about you. All right, what else are we picking up on? Look, I'm sorry I treated you like an option. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's their first impression of you. They just kind of like, at first, people may seem a little wishy-washy towards you, but then once they know more about you, they're like, oh, I really should have locked in on this person first. Um, I'm holding back my secret lust for you. Guys, yeah, they get hot on you later on. And we also have a uh, sweetheart, genuine and down to earth. That is really interesting. They don't want, the other one that wanted to come out underneath that was busy bee working hard and slipping social life. So they feel like you're a very busy bee. 
that is very interesting uh yeah you're very much so a sweetheart you're down to earth but do not play with it okay because you got a lot going on in your life you are really like you're that girl you're that guy you're that person like you're just really put together people don't expect that out of you for some reason they expect you to be like i don't know further behind in life than you are but then they they find out quick and they find out quick that you're very mature and put together all right uh, let's check out the brat's baddie oracle now what are other people's first impressions of those who chose pile number three what are their first impressions of them all right. Oh, wow. We have celebrity status here. If I could pick it up. Okay. Celebrity status. This is so interesting. People may feel after first impression that you have the kind of energy people want to pay attention to. We were talking about this a little bit in pile number two. Maybe some people from pile number two are here where it's like, you don't have to be necessarily well known to have that celebrity energy. It's like, what Lady Gaga said in that one interview, when she said that she was a celebrity before she was known because people wanted to know who she was. People wanted to invest in her art and, and get to know her. And they were very curious about who she was, okay? Some of you guys could have an active social media, like a public social media, and you could have quite a lot of followers and they could feel like that kind of makes you like a local celeb, that kind of thing. But yeah, off of first impression, people understand why others would be captivated with you, okay? And why they want to get to know you. What are others' first impressions of those choosing pile number three? What are their first impressions of them? Okay, we have admired by many, replaced by none. Whoa, replicated by none. Very interesting. So yeah, you're admired by many people. They can tell that you're admired by many people. We had the person with the crown on their head too. So you just have kind of like this regal royal vibe as well. I also feel like you intimidate people because we have Rihanna as Medusa. So you do intimidate people as well, for sure. Especially once they find out about you. I'm hearing that you kind of stop people in their tracks. You definitely surprise people. What are others' first impressions of you? Okay, we have business babe. Yes, come on now. It says entrepreneur, lives by herself, dates in her tax bracket, alone time about her bag, manifested her success, and been single for a minute. Now, I know not everybody uses uh, she, her pronouns who's watching this video. Guys, just replace if that doesn't apply to you. But yeah, you're coming off as a boss, okay? Business babe, you're coming off as a boss, especially those who are entrepreneurs. But this is just so interesting. You are in your bag. You're in your bag. People underestimate you when it comes to this, but they find out quickly. They find out quickly. You also have the moon here. So you come off as mysterious. Okay, you come across as mysterious. Like people don't, people, their first impression of you is just not what it is. I'm also feeling like you have a very piercing gaze as well. What else do we have here? All right, um, this one fell on the floor. I like to say if it falls on the floor, then it counts times four. So then we have social justice, babe. Okay, we love it. Talks about equality, knows her history, diverse friend group, educates her community, uplifts women, LGBTQ friendly and protest. Maybe you like to attend protests. Maybe you speak up about causes that you care about, things like that. But yeah, you do talk about equality. You talk about very important issues. Um, yeah, maybe you're speaking up about uh, movements right now, you know, like Free Palestine or Free Congo, you know, things like that. You very much so care about your community, okay? The world community. That's awesome. What other people's first impressions about those who chose pile number three? And then we also have um, classic baddie. Divine feminine ignores divine masculine. Effortlessly beautiful, fashion forward, unbothered, educated, and ignores conflict. Yeah, wow. It's so cool. <laughs> Y'all are just baddies. Y'all are babes and baddies. Um, so yeah, you're someone who's just like very comfortable in your own skin. People notice that on a first impression of you. They feel like you're very comfortable in your own skin. Again, you're effortlessly beautiful. And you don't really have to, you don't chase anybody. Yeah, I feel like you're the one who's chased. You don't chase anybody. Hence that ignores divine masculine comment there. You just attract people and you really don't have to do a lot. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right. Be sure to like this video. If you are liking the messages so far, that would be lovely. It does help out my channel. Now we're gonna wrap things up with my multicolored cards, okay? All right, let's see. 
last messages about your first impression on others. What do we have here? Okay, here we go. What do we have? Sorry. What are pile number three's first impression on others? Oh, here we go. It says lovely hair. All right, so you have very lovely hair and they noticed that on a first impression. Okay, this one came out, I put it back. I was like, mm, I don't know, but it came out again. It says, I act like I care, but I really don't. This, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so interesting. Um, on a first impression, I feel like people realize that you're just very unbothered. Uh, yeah, I've already got that. Uh, you're just very unbothered. Like, not that you don't care about people, but I don't know, you're just, you just don't, not a lot bothers you, not a lot bothers you. You make me so turned on and filled with lust for only you. So again, we have, I'm holding back my secret lust for you. So people, you know, they feel lustful for you after a first impression. Okay. We also have, I think I'll miss you forever. So yeah, people feel like they'll miss you after a first impression. That's interesting. Your love has leveled me up. So after a first impression, people feel like you, I'm getting more so that they feel like you would level them up if you were in a relationship with them or you were in a friendship with them. Like you're the kind of person who being in association with would raise someone's social status, to be honest. All right, you're doing amazingly. Give yourself more credit. Yeah, people people realize that you're doing really well in your life. They feel like you had pouty lips as well. Oh, see, seductive demeanor. And new ideas and inspiration are on the way, no worries. So along with huge blessings are on the way. So if people feel like you're always getting blessed, you're always like leveling up in some way. Um, yeah. You just your life is really really great. They're, they're just like whoa, like there's a lot more going on in their life than I thought. All right, that is what I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what resonated with you. I do have the OG reading today. Just a few minutes, just a few minutes coming up, okay? And it's gonna be all about what do others see about you that you don't notice. So if you wanna watch that, just be subscribed to my channel. It's not too late to become an OG. Then you can watch the OG reading. Now, if you'd like even more content, I do have a TikTok under the same handle, Lunar Light Tarot, and I have a website, LunarLightTarot.com, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me. I would love to chat with you one-on-one. -on -one. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello there to my OGs to say to the very end of the reading. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Hope that you enjoyed the main reading. Let's go ahead and get into this bonus. What do other people see about you that you do not see? All right. Let's go ahead and get into this tea, you know, uh, this gonna be fun. All right. What do the people see about my OGs that they do not see about themselves? Okay. Ah. Ten of Swords, Four of Cups. What do people see about my OGs that they do not see about themselves? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Um, people see the way that you pull yourself out of difficult times, okay? They see that a lot. Um, you may think that you're being like, oh, so secretive and no one knows when you're down or when you're upset, but no, people can tell when you're upset. All right, people can tell when you're going through a difficult time or when you're disappointed by something or things are not going your way. And people are very impressed by the way that you seemingly turn nothing into something and the way you're able to pull yourself out of dark times. All right, um, they feel like a lot of people would just wallow in the difficulties that they're going through, but you actually make changes in your life. And if it's something that you cannot change, then you're able to support yourself through it. Because some things that we go through sadly are immovable and they they just cannot be changed. You know, a lot of things that we go through can, and we can improve our lives to um, to not have to be in that circumstance anymore. But sometimes, you know, there are just difficult things and difficult times that are just going to be prevalent in our lives for a bit until we can, you know, until it's over or until we can um, make that sort of change. So you know how to support yourself through difficult times as well. As the people notice about you that you may not see, um, is that your your own biggest support system? Yeah, people know that you know how to lift yourself up 
and make yourself feel good as well. And additionally, you don't make your burdens other people's problem either. Um, they notice that about you. People feel very comfortable like hanging out with you and being close to you because they feel like, you know, maybe selfishly, but um, not in a bad way, but they feel like even if you're going through a hard time, you're still really fun to be with because you're not going to take things out on them and become like bitter or mean. You know how to compartmentalize and you cherish the relationships you have in your life. You're not somebody who abuses the elasticity of your personal relationships. You appreciate the people who are around you, especially those who are closest to you. And they, they appreciate that you don't take things out on them and that you know how to lift yourself up and you really do pull yourself out of dark times. You have a lot of direction for your life and people admire that about you, all right? What other people see about my OGs that they do not? That was so pretty. I love that. All right. The moon in reverse. What do other people see about my OG that they do not? Six of Pentacles in reverse. The chariot. What do other people see about my OGs that they do not? The lovers in reverse. Wow. You know, whew. This, is a, this is an awesome message too. Okay. So separate message. Um, people notice that when information when it is revealed that a relationship is no longer reciprocal you are out of there okay you do not stick around in relationships that make you feel like poop about yourself all right you don't do it you don't stay in relationships that make you question your self-worth that are putting you down or that are draining your energy as soon as it's revealed that is not is no longer a reciprocal relationship or that you two are no longer aligned, you are out of there with the quickness. Your cutoff game is so strong and you just do not mess with manipulative situations and manipulative people. You'll just move on. You move on to yeah, situations that are that are loving and that are caring and where people are going to celebrate each other and you know feel that reciprocal energy you know, that love. Yeah, you don't stick around to be breadcrumbed or to be manipulated in situations. You just will not stand for it. People people notice about you that you cannot be manipulated, you know? And I'm also hearing for other people, it actually heals something in them to see you standing up for yourself. They love that about you. It reminds them that they can do the same, that they have the agency to stand up for themselves and that they have options and situations. I think sometimes, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's different for each person, each situation, but uh, some people do forget that they have the option to leave and, and not look back, you know? And I think that you empower people to make those radical self-love choices for themselves as well. So yeah, people notice your radical self-love they notice that you're not giving into any relationship that makes you question your self-worth. You will leave so quick. Anything that's not healthy for you any longer, you're just out of there. And they love that about you. It's very inspiring, okay? I'm hearing that you are a natural leader. You're definitely a natural leader. I think every pile kind of got that. All right, let's see. Let's see more about this. What do others see about you that you do not? What, okay, yeah, we had the boss car. I'm taking this one. I'm taking it. Um, yeah, people notice that you're a boss, all right? People notice that you're becoming rich um, or that, you know, you're getting to a really good place financially in your life or that you're, you're going to get there. Uh, people feel like you're very generous. Maybe you don't even notice, like, how generous you are. People notice that you're a hopeless romantic, LOL. You may think that that's undercover, that's under wraps, but now people know that you would be a very passionate lover. You would be a very passionate lover and that you enjoy um, like being swept off your feet, that kind of stuff. Okay, we have um, talks ish in reverse. People notice that you don't have interest in drama or gossip, okay? You're not overly concerned with other people's lives. You actually have a life, LOL. <laughs> You're not, you have a life and you're not overly concerned with talking ish about other people, okay? People like that about you, um, definitely. Okay, um, interesting. What do people see about you that you don't? Um, 
they they may see that actually i'm going to clarify this one i just wrote this one too like during today's reading i got the i channeled the secret snake card can you clarify the secret snake divine source oh okay okay sorry <laughs> i can't help but be like oh my god in a reading i do it all the time guys anyway so god i didn't want i didn't want to say this but i'm actually getting this so other people notice that there may be a secret snake around you dun, 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 dun. i know i don't mean to be so dramatic i'm sorry <laughs> But if you know that there's somebody who, I don't know, it's kind of like draining your energy, whether it be a romantic connection or um, a familial connection I'm picking up on or a friendship. Yeah, people know that there's a wolf in sheep's clothing that's around you that you may not see. It says, secret snake, wolf in sheep's clothing, walk away before it's too late. This is someone who it just like takes, takes, takes. All right. And they do not tell you how much they appreciate you. Other people, they really appreciate you and how much you do for them. They see that you do a lot for, for other people. And this particular person may not appreciate the things that you do for them. And they realize that other people see that there's someone who's unappreciative or may take your energy for granted who's around you. Now, they may not be for everybody. Some of you watching this may have great relationships and that may not apply. So, you know, I don't want you to be like, oh my God, who is it? And like scouring your life and being like, oh my God, it's you. And it's like your best friend. It's like done nothing wrong. <laughs> They're like, what, what? So don't worry about it. If it's not you, it's not you. If it is, you're gonna know who I'm talking about. So, you know, no worries guys, no worries. Okay, the next one that wanted to come out here, bing is damn you're one bad b okay <laughs> you guys may not realize how attractive you really are but yeah other people certainly do yeah my God. so some of you guys definitely have an energy vampire around you but you know it's, it's neither here nor there but yeah if people notice that you're a baddie they notice that all right what else do they notice about pile number three sorry my og is that they don't notice all right um people notice when others are jealous of you Oop. yeah people notice that people get jealous of you and the attention that you receive this one says i'm jealous of the attention that you receive so other people notice when people get jealous of you as well so yeah you do have that wow we have destined for success i love it yeah people notice that you're destined for success that is fire they notice that you're a sweetheart you're very genuine and down to earth okay what else do we have here okay we know they notice that people tend to have crushes on you that people develop crushes on you and that there's someone who may like you more than that you think but they just need more time to come forward okay very interesting let's look at the brass baddie oracle i'm curious to see what this has to say oh guys i'm sorry i really <laughs> it almost sounds like a fake gas but my family always says like Dominique is good for a gasp. Like if you if you're telling a story, you need a gasp. I I'm gonna like suck air. Like I don't know what it is, but anyway, <laughs> it says yo check your energy. Toxic something. Like, someone someone may be acting kind of fake around you. Just be careful. Just be careful. There could be someone in your friend group who's acting kind of fake. If you know who that is, if you, you know that's for you. But you guys, you know take a resonates, leave the rest type of thing. All right, what do other people notice about my OGs that they don't notice about themselves? Wow, you don't notice how wonderful your energy is with the sun. This is why people want to come and like latch on to you as well because you have this bright, warm energy. So yeah, just be careful about that. But yeah, people notice your, your wonderful energy, how warm it is, how kind you are, all right? Yeah, wow, people notice that you are blessed. You have the Empress card here. Very much, giving very much Empress vibes. Remember your soul living the human experience. So yeah, people feel like you're very much blessed. You're unbothered, you're living your life. You just don't realize like how, <laughs> how I guess you do realize how blessed you are. I won't say that you're not grateful. I do think you're very grateful, but you just don't realize how, how high, how high of a light people see you in, okay? They see you in a very high light. They know that you're destined for success. They know that you're the queen of pentacles. Okay. Okay, um, we have sporty spice. People notice that you're kind of sporty. Or do you have like a sporty vibe to you or maybe an athletic look to you? You may not really think of yourself as that, but they feel like you're kind of sporty. It says, played at least one sport, 
class clown, loves to talk, tomboy, intimidating, and secret nerd. So people kind of notice that you have a very balanced masculine feminine energy. Sometimes you may come off a little bit of a tomboy. You could be someone who dresses more femme, but your vibe, you could still incorporate, incorporate, you could still incorporate some masculine uh, parts to yourself. And they notice that, okay? So yeah. We also have Neo Soul Babe. It says, head wrap queen, modern hippie, loves 90s R&B, does cute things without knowing, light worker and sassy angel. So you do have an angelic persona, you know? Um, you have really good music taste. I'm also getting that. I have really, really good music taste. People notice that about you. Like it's um, above average music taste. And then you do a lot of cute things. I do a lot of cute things without knowing. What other people see about my OGs that they don't notice about themselves? All right. You have the temperance car with the angel. Um, so yeah, you do come across very angelic, ethereal. You don't notice how angelic you do come across. All right. I'm only gonna get a few of these cards. I'm not sure how well they're gonna apply, but let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see. I saw I saw this card wanting to come out. So you have the hot bum. So you don't really notice how great your bum is, but you actually do have such a great bum. LOL. Those have sexy legs. Oh, okay, I see y'all. Sexy legs, great bum. Flirting skills. Okay, so yeah, you also have really great flirting skills. You may not realize that. You also have you're a great friend. People love being around you. You don't realize how much of a great friend you are. I literally said I was gonna get a few and then look at me, I'm going to the second row. Cute face. Yeah, very cute face. You don't notice how cute your face is, I guess. Attractive physique. Yeah, a lot of these, I mean, they're physical ones, more physical ones right now. You're doing amazingly, give yourself more credit. Yeah, you just don't know how attractive you are and how great you're doing in life. People really see that. You can have a coworker who feels this way about you. Okay, who else might feel this way about you? A current or old classmates may also feel this way about you. All right, I kind of know the colors, guys. I'm sorry I'm not cheating, but I still don't know what they say, but you know what I mean? But I am picking out some colors. All right, lovely hair. And then last four people who think this, an ex, an ex may think this about you as well. All right, that is what I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I thought it was so fun. Honestly, before I got on camera, I was like low energy. I was tired. I was like, oh goodness, I'm gonna be filming, blah, blah. blah. But then once I got on, I was like, oh yeah, I'm so excited. But <laughs> I just love talking to you guys. And at the end of the reading, I always just feel so happy. So I just wanna thank you guys for giving me that experience and giving me a reason to come on camera every week. And it's just so much, I really, I just love talking to you all. So yeah, thank you so much for, you know, uh, giving me a platform and letting me talk to you all. I hope that you enjoyed today's reading. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light.